Yes? Don't ever ask to leave this tower again. Why? My turn. Keeps getting better. How many more bones will you crush? Now I'm the bad guy. Mother Gothel predicted the pandemic? What? How many villains have you seen where their motive is keeping their loved ones inside? Welcome back to Mother Review, and today I am reviewing Mother Gothel from the movie Tangle. What score am I gonna give the old hag? 9 out of 10. 1 out of 10. I don't know. Well, I, I do know. I wrote the video. But you don't. Let's find out. Make the clock reverse. Bring back what once was mine. We don't know a whole lot about Gothel before the events of the movie, but what we do know is that she's old. Not like a fine wine kind of thing, but more like one of those bad guys from Skyrim. Yeah, she's not in good shape. Obsessed with looking young, Gothel discovers a magic flower that restores her youth whenever it's sung to. She hoards the flower all to herself, but eventually loses it when the plant is stolen to heal the queen's sickness. The queen, however, pulled a plot twist and decided to be pregnant, giving her daughter the power once held by the magic flower thing. Determined to be like Peter Pan and never grow up, Gothel decides to kidnap the baby, raise it as her own, and use the child's magic hair to wrinkle away all those wrinkles whenever she feels like it. Gothel doesn't have a big backstory in the movie, but honestly, that's fine. If you've ever seen those like freaky looking Twilight Zone celebrities, you know that these people really exist. The movie sets up instantly that Gothel is not a good person, and it also shows us what her motivation is take advantage of her kidnapped daughter to look young forever. It's simple, but unique. Her main motivation of staying young being a motive everyone is familiar with. I see a strong, confident, beautiful young lady. <laughs> oh, look, you're here too. <laughs> it would be really easy to make Gothel a dark and sad and joyless kind of villain, but luckily, she ain't like that. In fact, Gothel stands out among other Disney villains because of how much life she has. She treats Rapunzel pretty bad, but she's more subtle about it, you know? You know that person in your life who will always say something awful about you, and like they low-key kinda mean it, but then they're just like, oh, we're just kidding. Yeah, that's Gothel. I think she does care about Rapunzel to some extent, but it's probably like top 10 things she cares about instead of number one. I like that Gothel also doesn't really have anything special about her, and that her main weapon is her intellect and manipulation. She's not out here, like, hurling fire and monsters at people like Hades or commanding the city like Frollo. She's one person, she doesn't have powers, but she's still able to do quite a lot with that. Rapunzel is a little naive, if we're being honest, so the threat isn't so much that Gothel will hurt Rapunzel, but it's more that she'll twist events and thoughts into convincing Rapunzel she's right. And I really like that. How did you find me? Oh, it was easy, really. I just listened for the sound of complete and utter betrayal and followed that. Thanks to her lively personality, Gothel is always a pretty fun character to have on screen. Her personality contrasts everyone else pretty well, but the dynamics are still great, in particular when she's just roasting the hell out of Rapunzel. If you have seen some of my other villain reviews, okay, you'll know I'm a sucker for a good villain song. And Mother Knows Best, it's kinda heat. I like that the tone of this doesn't really feel like a villain song. It doesn't have to be like the dark hellfire, you know, like the, oh, time to murder cause I'm horny kind of thing. Instead, it's just a solid number about Gothel explaining to Rapunzel why she can't leave. It mixes the content of a villain song with a more lighthearted tone really well. But you know what's even better than a villain song? A villain song reprise. And this one's hotter than Anakin Skywalker, folks. The tone setting, everything is darker, but it is still a great callback to the first version of the song. Gothel's getting desperate here, as she really needs to prove her point to Rapunzel. Either that, or she's gonna start looking like Frank Ocean fans by the time he drops another album. All those scenes where she's manipulating others is also pretty good, as I like seeing her intellect in action. All the characters in this movie are pretty good, and its villain is no exception. Have you ever kidnapped a baby? That answer better be no. It's pretty awful to do such a heinous crime, but on top of that, Gothel isn't even being that good of a mother. Like, 
hear me out. If she was whipping out the big wheels, okay, those fancy $100, $200 Lego sets, brown sugar Pop-Tarts, I mean, like, I wouldn't complain, you know what I'm saying? Instead, all Rapunzel gets is some paint, hair she can't cut, and insults that are disguised with sarcasm. I said earlier that I think Gothel does care about Rapunzel, but everything that has to do with her comes second to her own selfish desires. If Rapunzel had, like, the Black Plague, I, I, that's, that's random as hell, but if she had the Black Plague or something like that, Gothel would probably just let Rapunzel die instead of putting herself at risk. She treats Rapunzel pretty poorly, lies to her, manipulates her, tries to kill her boyfriend, Pretty evil stuff. Like, if someone did that to me, I'd be pretty mad. Tell you. Oh, Rapunzel, you know I hate leaving you after a fight, especially when I've done absolutely nothing wrong. Okay. Gothel's a pretty safe villain, in my opinion. No big risks are taken, but that's fine, because she's really solid. We get a motivation that's strangely familiar to society, unfortunately, and I like how she can be a really evil character while still having a generally lighthearted personality. She dips into some dark moments here and there, as seen in her villain reprisal, which is a awesome scene, but in general, I'm never mad when we cut away to her. She makes the movie better and overall is a pretty good villain. I'm gonna give Mother Gothel a 7.5. I was going to offer you something worth 1,000 crowns. Would have made you rich beyond belief, and that wasn't even the best part. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching another villain review. Can I interest you in another Disney villain? Like, you know, I got Hades. I got Frollo. Oh, what? What? You want Clayton from Tarzan? I got Clayton. Let me know what you think of Mother Gothel in the comments below, and as always, who I should review next. Have a great day. Go outside. Unlike Rapunzel. Enjoy the sun.